What's up guys? It's Erica with Not Your Average EDC and today we are going to talk about the BGM Knives Mini Bowie in M4 Steel. But first, I just wanted to give an update on the sheath from my friend Walker. I've been using this for the Case Lanny's clip that I've been testing this month and I've had it for I want to say like two weeks now so this is not a review it's just first impressions from using this um it's a it's a really nice little sheath it you know goes right on your belt you can put a, a swiss army knife a slip joint anything like that in there that'll fit uh you could probably even do some type of flashlight but um yeah it, it's it's really nice it works well it does exactly what it's supposed to do so far uh the only like troubles I had with it were, number one, I use a tail of knives sheath for my multi-tool that I have on my belt already. So this riding with that, a little much on the belt. So I, I have had to kind of like rotate that kind of gear around and sometimes put like the multi-tool in my pocket to have this on my belt sheath or this on my belt, I should say. And then the only other thing is um, you have to use two hands to get this out because the, the retention is so tight in here. So when the knife is down in there, nice and snug like that, you have plenty of room for purchase to pull this out. However, it's because it's on your belt, you pull up and this thing just starts to go with it, right? So I kind of have to use two hands to pull it out of there, which is a, a little a little tricky. Uh, and I know I have to use two hands to open this knife anyway, but just like the whole process is a little much. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really nice. Uh, he kind of just started up, I think. I, I'm not totally sure about that, but, um, I would, I would figure maybe he just started because just a couple things I've noticed. Um, as far as I know, when you do leather work for like the EDC community, a lot of people wax the stitching because it just holds better. So like somebody that I work with a lot is Ryan from Fail Safe Goods and he uses like waxed thread which holds up much better, it doesn't fray. Um this will. And um it it's it's great and it works well, but if you're somebody who is like very if you are like OCD or very detail oriented, uh the stitching is just like a little a little crooked on the back. It's just like a little wider here and a little thinner there. But like I said, he's beginning, he's just learning, he's looking for feedback to improve. So um, this works really well and um, I can only see him improving in the future and just continuing to make progress because he has a really great idea here. So thank you again, Walker, really appreciate it. Uh, go check out his page on Instagram. I think it's just, I think it's called like Artisan Walker or something. Um, He'll be down in the comments. He watches a lot of the videos. Okay, so let's talk about the knife. Basically what I've been doing with these little mini fixed blades is I've been carrying them for a few days consecutively at work. And then I dull them, I resharpen them, and then I use them again until they go dull. So I basically do like, you know, a, a really good sharpening halfway through and then dull it again and then sharpen it again and then do the first impressions. So we have done that. I've sharpened this twice since carrying it. So now it has a nice, fresh, insanely sticky, toothy edge on it. Very, very sharp. Uh, so let's just talk about first impressions of this knife after carrying it and sharpening it and using it a lot. Um, this is one of my favorite designs, hands down. The mini Bowie design, the really sharp tip the belly, the slicing cap capabilities, all of that just hits home with this thing. This is a wicked little slicer. I, I noticed that the stock on this M4 is much thinner than my usual BGM knives. So he, mu he must have just like purchased thinner stock in this steel for this. It's very useful, very nice, very ergonomic. Everything about this is just a home run. I have other videos on this as well, but um, the M4 itself was tempered low, so it has taken a little bit of a patina, but really not much. Like you can't really see much of a patina on here. It's tempered so low. So the the satin flats were like a brighter silver, and now they're just a little dull, but still 
no like spotting, no rusting, nothing like that, which is really interesting. Um, the the edge itself holds like crazy. It was a dream to sharpen, came up very, very quickly for M4, much easier than other M4 I've used. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. Now, I do believe that John is going to be incorporating M4 into his offerings on his website, so you guys should be able to start uh, putting in some orders for knives and M4. But it was it was a dream to use, and if you're looking for a, a, a tough steel that is easy to sharpen to get into sharpening, I can recommend the M4 so far. Really easy to bring up in comparison to some other steels. So just a beautiful little blade, great for food prep, which I, I recorded that for you guys, right? Uh, like a whole food prep thing where I made dinner with this. Pretty sure I did that. Um, it's just fantastic. So this is one of the models that he offers. I can recommend so far checking it out. He offers a whole bunch of steels, but the M4 was really, really nice to use. And um, I'm almost done with my impressions on the mini Junko from John. So this is the fixed blade that I'm using right now from him. This is a mini Junko full flat ground in crew wear. And I used it until it went dull, sharpened it last night, and then started using it again at work. So I'll give it, it'll probably only last like one or two more days just because I use my knives so much at work. But um, yeah, we're, we're a decent way through the paces with this one. And so far, so good. This one took a screaming edge as well. Crazy toothy. Um, seems to be holding it longer than the M4. Seems to be holding its like really good toothy razor edge uh, just longer. The M4 had a crazy amount of tooth and then it, um, I wouldn't say quickly, but like in a fair amount of time, lost a little bit of the tooth and it was just like a good working edge. And especially with the geometry, it went through material very easily because it's pretty thin. Uh, this, this is thicker stock, much, much thicker stock than the M4 knife that I just showed. However, because it's full flat ground, it thins out a lot. So again, I do have geometry in my favor, but this crew wear so far, I can absolutely feel a difference from the N4. I, I, think, it's, I think it has better edge retention. And on the stones, it took a little bit longer to bring up a burr. So that probably is kind of supporting my theory of it just being a little a little more um, hard and uh, it should be able to hold its edge a wee bit longer than the M4 did. So really love John's crew wear. This is a knife that I've used before. I just haven't done the consecutive days of testing, sharpening, going back to using it again, blah, blah, blah. Um, so John's crew wear is, is really, really nice. I tend to uh, have people gravitate toward that when they ask what steel they should use from John if they're looking for a really hard steel. Um, I've always said that I think his Nitro V is the best steel you can get from him for all around use, but if you're looking for something a little more exotic, a little, um, I don't want to say higher end, but just a little harder, a little harder, I, I do think that the crew wear is actually... Um, a little a little harder than the nitro v so it tends to hold an edge a little bit longer but um that's all i've got for you guys today i hope you're enjoying your saturday i just got from home from work not too long ago i have to work for like 13 days straight so that'll be fun um i will see you guys on the next video go use your shit like please for the love of cheese and rice go use your shit what is this oh what a mr nice bar <laughs> i use this today for scraping and it worked awesome. So even if you don't have a knife and you have tools, go use your shit. And I will see you guys on the next video. Love you all.